first reading this morning is from the book of Amos, chapter 5, verses 6 through 7 and 10 through 15. Seek the Lord and live, or he will break out against the house of Joseph like a fire, and it will devour Bethel with no one to quench it. Ah, you that turn justice to wormwood and bring righteousness to the ground, they hate the one who reproves in the gate, and they abhor the one who speaks the truth. Therefore, because you trample on the poor and take from them your levies of grain, you have built houses of hewn stone, but you shall not live in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink their wine. For I know how many are your transgressions and how great are your sins. You who afflict the righteous, who take a bribe and push aside the needy in the gate, therefore the prudent will keep silent in such a time for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil and love good, and ju establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. The word of the Lord. Let us read these verses from Psalm 90 responsibly. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Satisfy us by your steadfast love in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you us, and as many years as you suffer. Show your servants your works and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper our hand work. The second reading is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. Indeed, the word of God is living and active sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace and boldness, with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, 
how hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children, and fields with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord. Lord.